Good afternoon YouTube, this is Mason coming to you once again, or the free thinkers should I say, coming to you once again, I hope everyone's doing well, I hope everyone's having a good weekend, we've got a long weekend here in Australia, certainly enjoying that, and um, cloudy but a nice day, nice pleasant day to be outside. So everyone, yeah, I haven't been on YouTube very much lately, um, just been really uh, flat out with work and... Um, family stuff and all that sort of thing so just been taking a bit of a break and um uh just seeing what's going been going on around the world and all the other things that have been happening and yeah it's pretty much the same same old stuff like you get so we'll deal with that in another topic but um today i'd like to just talk about um one of these other influences i have in my life and what's been going on what I have been interested in since, since since I was a little kid, um, you know, uh, I'm obviously um, an Irish Catholic. I've been um, my grand my dad was a grandfather. My grandfather he was a Irish Catholic and um, he fled uh, well left Ireland after the war World War Two, and then uh, moved down to Australia, which is where my dad where my dad was born. Well, he was born in England and they moved back to Australia. So, um, you know, but since but personally, I don't really, uh, I I'm identify myself as Catholic or religious really at all. Um, you know, I have, I did go to a religious school. I went to an Anglican school. Um, a prime, I went to a public primary school and then went to a religious high school. So, um, you can see the correlate, uh, the differences there between, um, the education, which was a little bit different. So, but really what I talk about is, um, you know, what, do I believe in anything and do I have uh, something that I practice? Well, it's hard to say, like, you know, it's one of those, I'm one of those people where I'm kind of, ag I'm pretty much agnostic, like, I think there could be something out there, but I'm not sure what it is, so I think it's, a, it's God, as, as they say in the Bible. Personally, I don't think so, but there could be something of a higher being, or in a higher dimension that could, uh, potentially be watching over us or overseeing humanity as a whole. But what I do have been interested in, um, since probably my early teens has been the, uh, probably the uh, oracle decks, the uh, tarot cards, should I say. And um, I've got a pack here, I might as well show you this one. This is from Doreen Virtue. She is um, a world-renowned uh, tarot card reader. Um, you see her, she's... She's seen quite a lot on um, TV magazines, and she does a lot of celebrity readings and puts out all these different oracle cards or tarot cards, just different versions, and all have different meanings with them. But basically, um, I've always been into the uh, tarot card oracle deck reading. Basically, it's um, every day that you, sh you shuffle the cards, and your guardian angels, as described on this deck here, um, tells you what, what to expect for the day and what you can do to make your day enjoyable. Um, you see here, I'll show you a bit of just what one of the cards looks like. But personally, I found, um, I mean, I don't practice, I haven't practiced them every day, but I have done it off and off, on and off over the years, and I have found them to be quite helpful in inspiration and in getting positivity into, um, into my day. So, you know, this is a, few cards, very well presented, uh, beautiful illustrations, all of them have different, you know, positive meanings, like this one here, be honest with yourself, um, the other one's about, you know, relationships, uh, then natural, natural bodies that you should maybe immerse yourself with, like if you're into the ocean, or depending on what star sign you are, that those things can help you, um, find peace or gather inspiration to have a better day with yourself or to make things less stressful because as we know this day and age it's quite um the world, the world we live in as we know can be quite stressful and very more demanding than ever so so i have found that these cards uh here this specific deck has certainly given me some um more motivation to do better especially also with my line of work and also with um family, um, friendships, and, yeah, loved ones in general, so, um, you know, at times when, yeah, I've had a few issues with the family and my, um, friends, you know, having something 
to give me sort of that uh, motivation, but also whether it be through, you know, getting out nature, music, and then I uh, sometimes oracle cards, new age, spirituality, spirituality, should I say, uh, has helped a bit. So if you could identify myself as uh, some sort of, uh, you know, not religion, some sort of um, something that I have hope in that is in the um, new age um, spirituality sort of, sort of teaching. I'm definitely keen to go down that path more. I think um, anyone who sort of is agnostic like me, um, sort of, you know, thinks that there could be something and they don't want something ran down their throat or what they should believe in and what what is real and what is not. The thing is, guys, is that, you know, there are endless tools out there, which is also good about this day and age. There are endless tools out there you guys can look at about what might interest you, um, whether it be uh, religion, um, New Age, Buddhism, any sort of any sort of religion out there, all have their ups and downs, as we know. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, anyone who's agnostic, I encourage if you if you want to have a clear picture of what sort of path you like to take down, definitely have a look in um, also the New Age thing, which has been around for a very long time. A lot of people are confused of what the ideology is of New Age and spiritualism is um which is very hard to pinpoint and that's something I'll talk about in another video but um in another video I'd like to talk about also to do with the uh the extraterrestrial side of things. Um I I'll, I'll say now that I firmly believe that there are there are extraterrestrials watching us and around us. Um I'll there was another video as I said about talking about why I think that's their real and why we have been brain fed into believing that it's all a hoax and why, you know, all these scientists and all the all these so called UFO experts have come up with reasons to say that 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 that's not who they are and it's not real and for all this debunking crap that you see. But yeah, as I said though, um, you know religion obviously is something that plays a big and big part of someone's life. Um, different cultures, no matter you come from, and at the end of the day, that's just how it's going to be, and unfortunately, that has led to a lot of wars, which has not, you know, made anything any better for humanity, it's made things probably worse, and more unsettling, but history can't be undone, so we just have to do what we can with what we got, and um, who knows, who knows what we're going to go down, what religion will play a part in for future wars to come, as they say in Game of Thrones, so, <laughs> but yeah, Oracle Cards is probably the something that I could get into that I could immerse myself in and, and learn further if I want to um, sort of go down sort of a faith, individualistic, but also nurturing sort of, you know, ideology that I have and, you know, a lot of people say it could be bad things, you know, and they say that the, it's the same with psychic tellers, like they say that, you know, they're just... We got the, the, they're talking all this crap, they're sprouting, all, you know, there are fake ones, there are fake psychic tellers, there's some real ones as well, you just got to weed out the bad ones and find the real one, and I've had a few psychic um, readings over my time, um, I felt like I've had a cut, I've had a real good one that I should probably meet again one day, um, it's probably been a year since my last reading, so, and some of the things that this man said in that reading would come to fruition pretty well, but also, you know, in terms of um, myself and also my family and people around me. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today. Um, yeah, I like to delve in deeper at the stuff now and then, and also talk more about what, what the actual idea of the new age, um, new age individualism and, um, in the spirit and all that. Um, in another video coming up in the future. And also about, obviously, with the extraterrestrial stuff as well, because that's something I've really been getting into. And I've always had a fascination since my childhood. Always been interested in space, always been interested in the cosmos, astrology, all that sort of thing. And this sort of comes into that as well. So, yeah, I'll have to talk a bit more about that and bring some more light into what into what it means and what, what it could mean. And maybe talk about some things that people might have that's right and wrong about it, so... Alright guys, so uh, yeah, feel free to make a comment and just 
in the comment section below if you want to I talk about anything in regards to the subject and uh, I will see you guys uh, in another video soon hopefully not so long so until then I'll catch you later guys have a good weekend